A friendly debate never hurt anybody, right? Right? Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we got another graphic design video. We're gonna be talking about websites. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about uh, differences between HTML websites and WordPress websites and which one maybe you should be building right now. So ultimately, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer here. I think there are pros and cons to each of these things and I wanna dig down into them a little bit. I actually do both. I like a hybrid model, but that's for me and what my business has going on, what my personal brand is doing. And there are other neat sites that I've created and things that I do, and some of them hand-coded. Others use WordPress, other of them use different types of platforms instead, and so we need to talk about that. Here are some of the advantages of having a hand-coded HTML website. One, you have the full range of control of everything and you don't have third-party plugins that can compromise security or that could update and break the look and feel of your website. So I really do enjoy that and more control is always better for me and that's why the front end of my business website is mostly coded in HTML, CSS, and PHP. I'm comfortable with that and it gives me that full range of flexibility. I can do what I like and I can make it look exactly how I want. On the other hand, this is not very good for a large website or a content-driven website. I think this is best for websites that are limited to no more than 15 or 20 pages, usually closer to five or 10. I think a small website that's very focused it would be okay for hand code HTML. If it gets any bigger than 20 pages, it's gonna be cumbersome to manage and update, even if you're using um, include files and you're templating out things like the header and footer, I still think it is a monster to manage, is a monster to redesign and to update. If you are building anything bigger than 20 pages or even bigger than 10, I wouldn't wanna go there. If you're building a content-driven site, then I believe a content management system is appropriate, something like WordPress or an alternative. These are things that make sense to me because if you're doing something like an online publication, a blog, a magazine, a podcast, um, a video vlog, a gallery for your portfolio, I really think that using a WordPress site is the most practical thing that you can do. I think that being able to modify it and use HTML and PHP and CSS to make your changes and tweaks while playing within the overall framework is something that's just gonna make life easier and making a new page is as simple as a push of a button. So I think that it makes sense to do those things, especially if you're uploading a lot of media content and it's just gonna make life easier. And if you're someone who's less technical and much more on the creative side, this is probably just gonna be better for you. I think it just comes down to how you're gonna use the site and what your priorities are and also what your individual skills are. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. And like I said, I don't have a preference. I use both just depending on the context and what's appropriate for the situation and what I want to do. Now, if you're looking to launch your website, I have some recommendations for you. These are not sponsors of today's video in any way, but they are affiliate links that I use and they're systems that I believe in and that I rely on. Uh, if you wanna get web hosting, I highly recommend hostgator.com. I have a niche microsite that I'm actually using over there. So you can go to robertoblake.com slash hostgator. It's really affordable, especially if you don't have a big budget and you can set up different types of plans and they have great deals. So I would definitely check them out. If you're doing something a little bit more robust and professional and you, you know, have the cash to pay for a year up front, then I would recommend Bluehost. You can go to robertoblake.com slash Bluehost. Uh, check them out. There's something that I'm using actually to move over a lot of my business websites to. My niche microsites are gonna be over on HostGator. The majority of my business websites are gonna be over on Bluehost. And I kind of like having multiple websites on different hosting platforms, just so that uh, you know there's a lot of reliability for me there. If one thing goes down, I'm not completely uh, screwed. So that's just how I roll. Maybe you guys just wanna put everything in one place. Maybe that's easier for you to manage. If you want to build a website without coding at all, you don't want to do WordPress, it's too complicated, HTML is something you don't have the time to learn in the first place, then maybe you should check out Wix. Wix has a lot of drag and drop tools, thousands of templates and you know dozens of tools that you can use, a lot of images, and you can build something that fits your needs and you can do it relatively simply. You can put together in a day, maybe a weekend, and I think it'll be a great solution, especially if you're more of a designer and less of a coder. So check that out at, ah. So check that out at robertoblake.com slash Wix. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have more questions about web design and web hosting and you want me to make more videos about that, let me know in the comment section. I wanna know what you guys think. Also, what are you using? Are you using HTML or using WordPress or are you using something else? Let me know in the poll. Uh, I have that up here for you guys to vote and you can tell me in the comment section. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Remember, graphic design videos are usually on Mondays. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, Create something awesome today.